everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now in today's video, we're going to talk all about Saturn and we're going to see how Saturn makes you rich. What an interesting title, right? Uh, at the moment, I'm playing with the title on my slides here. I've got Career Astrology, How Saturn Makes You Rich. It might be different on the video when I publish it, but let's see. Um, I realize that today is Tuesday, it's Mars Day, and it's the end of my day. I've just finished preparing the notes for an audio recording I'm going to do tomorrow. I've been wearing red because it is Tuesday. It's Mars Day. I've got another little... Oh, they just don't stop. Oh, it's Mars Day, clearly. I'm killing fruit flies again. <laughs> I'm just going to put that over there. Right. Let's have a look at this fascinating topic. So, I mean, I'm talking about Saturn on a day that is all about Mars, but I'm sure Mars won't mind. In fact, I think Mars has been the planet that's given me the energy to put these notes together and record this at the end of my day. So let's take a look at this very interesting concept of how Saturn makes you rich. Does it really make you rich? Yes, it does. Now, there are lots of theories about that, actually, and the angle that I'm going in at this time, I believe, is quite unique. I haven't heard anyone mention this. This came to me after I'd watched a TED Talk by a guy called Alex Honnold, and I'm going to leave a link to that in the description below. You've got to watch that talk. It is so inspirational. I don't think it's very long. It's been a while since I've watched it. I'll probably watch it again as well because it really got my mind thinking about Saturn. I was watching him and I just thought, this guy's really Saturnian. And just as he's talking and his movements and his physique and, you know, I can often pick up on planetary energies just when someone's talking. I definitely picked up that he's a Saturnian. Um... But in terms of how Saturn makes you rich, there are many theories about this, but as I say, this is unique and it sprang from a, a talk a talk by uh, Alex Honnold. We'll get into that in the next slide. But here I've got the note where Saturn sits in your chart is important. Now, a lot of people, they know where Saturn sits in their chart and they know that, okay, Saturn basically brings these three things. This is what everyone thinks that he brings challenges, he brings delays, and he brings difficult things that we'd never choose to do out of our free will. Saturn's the one that will take you by the hand and say, look, you might be enjoying your Hollywood career as a screenwriter, but come over here and look after your sick parent, right? So that is all true. That's very true. Saturn definitely does do those things. But we've got to go deeper on that second one. Now, what was the second thing I said? I said, number one, challenges. Number two, delays. Okay, let's take a look at that second one very closely. The word delay. So delay, what's happening when there's a delay? An example of this, I was just thinking as I was typing these notes, was um, my plane got delayed. I was going home to Australia. My plane got delayed by an hour and a half. And I was in... I think it was London Heathrow, and because the plane got delayed by an hour and a half, I happened to be sitting next to this guy. I was going to Singapore, and he was a policeman, and uh, he was in London picking up some kind of award for good policing or something. We ended up having this conversation because of the hour and a half delay. We spoke for the entire time. It was great. I made a new friend, and we actually spent a chunk of the day I did a day stop over in Singapore, we actually spent a chunk of that day just hanging out. Um, so that was really nice. And delay can be a really wonderful thing. So there's that kind of delay. But I've got a note here. How do we reframe that word delay? Why do we think it's a bad thing? We think it's a bad thing because we have things we want to do and we want to get on and do it. And, you know, I'm wearing red, Mars, you know, Tuesday, right? A lot of Mars energy and it's go, go, go. And we want to do lots of things. And today I did lots of things, but delay is wonderful. Why is delay so good? Because Saturn is actually giving you time. Okay. So delay, he gives you time. And Saturn, old father time, is the creator of the illusion of time. He makes time time okay 
Um, and I love thinking about that concept that time is an illusion. As an astrologer, I think about time all the time. <laughs> and uh, I love thinking about its illusory nature. And I probably enjoy thinking about that because I'm spending time with Saturnian energy, contemplating that, that very thought. But Saturn, the creator of the illusion of time, he's giving you time in a delay, right? So what's he doing? He's making you time rich. So important. And now every time I look at a chart and when I see where Saturn is, I'm like, okay, he's making the person rich in that part of their chart rich in time so what happens when you're rich in time now if you use the time okay so there's a bit of a thing here if you use the time then you'll be able to get ahead in a way that other people won't be able to get ahead because you've had all that time you've had all that time to master that part of your chart right so I've got a note here, if you are time rich in an area of life, you can learn lots about it, you can practice that area more, you can become better at it than other people. And that's really what Alex Honnold did. Um, the next slide I've got is, you know, where does this thinking come from? And it comes from when I watched the talk, TED Talk by Alex Honnold. And I was so amazed by this very Saturnian life that he leads. And I started watching all these videos about him, not just that one. I watched that one, I think, a couple of times some weeks ago. And then I watched all these other videos I could find about him. And I've got some notes here that he leads a very Saturnian life. So, you know, you see that he works alone. You know, he works by himself, right, when he's climbing those big cliff faces. So he works alone. It's just him and the world. He lives very simply, not extravagantly. Right, so he lives out of a van. Um, lived very cheap, sparse life, just ate vegetarian food, really simple food, did the same thing every single day, routine, repetitive, right? Um, his equipment, what equipment does he use as part of what he does? Well, they're cliff faces, okay? That's rocks, right? And that's satin. Those cliff faces would have taken hundreds of thousands of years to make, right? So the, the equipment he uses is very old, um, I've got a note here, he works alone. It's all about mastery. It's all about these repetitive movements that he makes. He, he gets them to be automatic. You know, he scales the cliff face and he'll work out, okay, that could be a problem there. This could be a problem there. He works everything out because his life is on the line. He'll die. If he makes one false move, if he slips up, he's dead. Now, I can't find the time for this guy, but I've plugged him in. I found enough information to get his moon chart at the very least. When you look at his moon chart, apologies, by the way, about the siren. Don't know if you hear that. Um, but there's an exalted Saturn in the third house, right? So what's the third house? It's courage. And boy, do you need courage. Not only that, but his Saturn is conjunct Ketu, which is lifetimes of experience. So... What an incredible life, you know, and what a, what a highly Saturnian life. But where this is in terms of career astrology, how Saturn makes you rich, okay, so that means that Saturn is giving you more time there than anyone else. So Saturn, in Alex Honnold's example, he didn't think, I mean, who gets paid to scale cliff faces all day long? Nobody. That's not a profession. But it has become a profession because he is so good at it and so amazing at it that he's made it into a profession because he's just head and shoulders above everyone else. He's amazing at this one thing. And my brother always told me, he said to me that if you can be amazing at what you do, it doesn't matter what you do. He said, there'll always be someone to pay you money to do it. He's like, you could be the best window cleaner. You could be the best shoelace tire. You could be the best... I don't know, page turner of musical notes for someone else or whatever it is. But if you are the best at it and if you are incredible, you can make it a profession. And I really do believe in that. I really do think that, you know, it almost doesn't matter what you do. But if you're excellent at it, if you're a master at it, if you spend enough time doing it, of course it'll generate an income. So that's what 
climbing rocks has done for Alex Honnold. He's created a career out of it. He's, he's created money out of it. Um, and that's with the Saturn in the third house. And I was thinking before recording this video, what are some quick examples? Well, all right, how about um, Saturn in the fifth? Maybe, you know, uh, maybe you're a creative professional. Maybe, and there is a famous, um, pretty sure it's Omar Sharif. I'll just have a look really quickly. I'm probably taking too much time. Oh, no, it's 10 minutes gone. I'll have a quick look. Omar Sharif, I'm pretty sure he's got Saturn in the fifth. He was an excellent bridge player, but I bet you could make money out of that. Um, let's have a quick look. Omar, yeah, Saturn in the fifth. But I mean, maybe, maybe Saturn's gaze is slowing down your creativity, right? Don't take that as a bad thing. Take that as, okay, I'm being given time. I'm being given time to perfect this, to get really good at it, to get better at this. Than someone else and you'll be in a little cocoon you'll be in a little bubble where nobody knows you and you're just getting brilliant at it and then all of a sudden one day you're going to be this butterfly and people will see you and people will pay you money and it will be amazing and that's what happened to Alex he was in a bubble nobody knew him while he was developing all those skills it's only after he was able to do that three or four hour climb without dying <laughs> and it got filmed you know that he then became this this great figure but okay, so that's Saturn in the fifth. Let's say Saturn in the seventh. Maybe you have challenges in relationships. Well, guess what? Maybe, and maybe Saturn's going to give you many tough relationships. Maybe, you know, maybe you're going to have to practice a lot. Maybe you're going to have to get good at that. Or maybe you'll be in one big long relationship, but within that relationship, you encounter a whole load of crappy things, right? So that's possible. And, but don't, don't think that that's the end of your life. No, through the going of all those things, you'll be able to help somebody with that knowledge. And who knows, maybe you'll make an excellent relationship counsellor. Uh, I've seen some relationship counsellors charts or just counsellor coach type charts. And yeah, they've got certain in the um, seventh house and, and they're brilliant at helping people through their relationship problems because they've been there, they've done that, they've experience the delays, you know, um, but they're committed to being excellent at that area of life. And I think that where Saturn is, you need commitment as well. Um, as we see with Alex Honnold, every day, day after day, he's back on that rock, he's back on that cliff face, you know, having another crack at it and, and, and becoming excellent at it. Um, let's say Saturn in the ninth education you know sure that that may delay the attainment of higher education and things like that but maybe you're being given more time to to do something incredible and to then be head and shoulders above everybody else so that's a new take on an old master of Saturn that sure he's providing a delay but maybe we need to see that delay as a place where you are extremely time rich. So I hope you enjoyed that video today um, and I look forward to seeing you next time.